Really, aren't they? It's not like it was years ago. It was a rush to sign everyone. It's more patient, and it's, it's a horrible waiting game for a player. Uh, if you've had like an amazing season for 30 goals, yeah, your phone be ringing. But the time when you're for the season we've had, and we're the situation was at the old club. You've got to sit and wait and open. Now, luckily, I was offered a deal that I couldn't refuse, so I was down here. And uh, was it, it, it was an easy decision then? Yeah, well, I've, I've always wanted to move close to home. Uh, and it isn't too far for me if they're 25 and too bad, so... Where's home? Uh, Aylesbury. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it isn't too bad. Well, Theo's from Oxford, so you get a car share, right? Yeah, luckily enough, he signed him, so that was me yeah. the travel inside. So that, that helped you having a mate here as well, I'm sure? Yeah, well, the lads are great anyways. Whether uh, Theo was here or not, the lads are great. They've uh, welcomed us to the team pretty soon. Uh, they haven't taken this time. As soon as the first day, we'll show you around and low, so... Yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. All the best for recovering from your injury. Cheers. OK, Mark, a new season looming, very hot weather. What are your realistic hopes for the season? Yeah, I think going into the season has been really positive. I think we can, uh, we can look to try and do more like we've done last year and finish higher. Um, I think playoffs are still a massive, a massive ask with a part time squad. But, um, I think going into the season is not going to achieve anything really. Is that the sort of semi official target, playoffs? Uh, I don't think you can put that as a target. I think just try and finish better than we did again last year. High the ninth, um, I think we would have done well. Uh, again, we just want to try and achieve something. Uh, in the season, so we can get higher than that, we can make playoffs. Amazing. 
and uh, find out. Are you in, are you right back the centre back or a midfield player? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure yet. Wait and see. Thanks very much. Alright, cheers. Okay, well, Kevin, as uh, we can see from your knee, it's uh, an unfortunate start to the season. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, individually, it is, yeah, definitely, but you know, obviously, the kind of positive is. Um, the squad that managed to put together looks very, um, uh, very positive, and I think we're going to have a good season. And is it possible to tell us in very much layman's terms what exactly you've done? I know you've torn something on your knee. Yeah, um, I've torn t- t- uh, the meniscus, um, which is touched on the knee, and also medial ligament of the brain, two um, tear in there. So I'm probably looking about three months um, to be out and the operation on Tuesday. Right. Yeah. And without being too gory, what exactly will they do inside your knee? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> um, I've never had an operation before, so I'm right. 36, so I've been quite lucky. Um, so I'll be put to sleep and then obviously yes. wake up and uh, wake up and it'll hurt. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Does it hurt at the moment? Uh, a little bit, take that back. It's got to be if it's off, I can really even um, walk or a lot of pain. Monday, Tuesday, last uh, week, so you know, it's not that much better now. So. Okay, well, obviously, we wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you back in the shirt on the yeah, pitch as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Well, Mike, can you just give us a sort of summary of your hopes and expectations for the coming season for Wokey? Um, we've come a long way. Uh, we've proved that we can cope with uh, football at, at this level. We've improved our league position. So the message really I'm sending out is that we're looking for more of the same. Yes, it would be nice to... Uh, get to a playoff position but you've got to you've got to walk before you can run so really i'm looking for more of the same one of the most pleasing things for me is that we've managed to retain most of the squad uh, i want the team to enjoy their football first and foremost I want the fans to enjoy the experience stick with us so really the, the principal message is more of the same uh, and let's see what we can do what are the realistic hopes and expectations for this season for Wokey? Oh, I think it's the same probably every year really but uh, we're always looking to improve I think that uh, over the three years we've been at the club me and Steve Thompson working together it's been a, a process and a building uh, situation going forward all the time and I think we've achieved that so far I think that uh, the first day was to get the club back into the conference league which we've achieved and then I think staying there and getting 12 position with uh, 62 points and then we got a ninth position last season with uh, 68 points and I think that's not only in the league position and uh, where we're looking to improve in respect of as high as we can get but I think the quality of the football we're playing and the quality of the players we're keeping and adding to the football club is, uh, you know, we like to think very positive. And is the, the, the key words you just spoke there, the players we're keeping, you may put some master strokes in re-signing players for next season? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I think that uh, I've been very grateful to the football clubs who've helped us in the past and the players of course who came and played a major part in, you know, uh, making this, you know, being successful with the rest of the team and squad for the club. But I think that uh, from a manager's point of view or a management team's point of view, it does become a little bit worrying at times when you have players on loan and you see them doing very well with you and all of a sudden you're waiting for a phone call to come to draw them back to their club, which is their entitlement. But then when the window closes, it makes it very, very hard with the numbers. So, you know, what we tend to do this year is uh, been very fortunate, really, and uh, got some quality players who came on loan with the quality players we had last year. So, you know, the squad's not going to be a big squad. We hope that we don't uh, pick up injuries. As, as I say, really, because any way I form, we've got more quality, more than quantity. Yeah, and finally, you say you hope you don't pick up injuries, but sadly, of course, we already have. And Kevin Betsy's going to be a big loss. Yes, he's a big loss. He's been a big player, I think, that uh, Kevin Betsy's coming back to the club, he's had a lot of experience, he's had a lot of mobility and enthusiasm, a lot of quality all the way around, uh, not only on the pitch, off the pitch in every way I form as a senior player at the club.
right. But, you know, it is a blow to us, there's no doubt about that. But I also feel with the great to get the best and, and everybody connected to the local football club. But we've got a lot of quality players, and I believe that this is a time when players have got to step up for the challenge uh, without Kevin Betsy or without another quality player who might be out injured because you've got to have that over the course of the season. So, um, we'll take that and uh, see how that goes. Okay, many thanks and all the best for the coming season.